Hi there, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com and I'm back doing another video blog from this time from our solarium in beautiful downtown Vancouver. I wanted to talk to you today about a sort of concept that I wanted to start people thinking about a little bit. It's called repeatability. What I call it is repeatability. So first of all, what does it mean to repeat? Let's say you're watching a video or music or something online and you want to hear it again. So you just click the play button again, you can hear it again. Or you, you might have a repeat feature on your on your iPod or you can even download a plugin for YouTube that will let you repeat a video over and over again. So I think repeating something, repeating a piece of media or art as a way to learn more about it or get more out of it is really a valuable tool. But what is this thing called repeatability? Well, I propose that this repeatability should be considered to be the amount of times that you can repeat something without getting totally sick of it. So certain songs, like you hear on the radio, you might have heard them a hundred times in the last month. And if you still like it after listening to it a hundred times, I would say that's a very high level of repeatability. However, if you if you get really sick and annoyed of a song after only five times, I would think that would be a low level of repeatability. Or if you listen to something once and you don't want to ever hear it again, that would be like the lowest possible. I guess even lower would be if you don't even want to hear it to begin with. But you, I think you have to give everything at least one, one listen or one chance. Otherwise, you will never know what you have missed. <laughs> Okay, so the other interesting observation I have to make about repeatability is the fact that certain types of things are generally more repeatable than others. So, for example, something that's not very repeatable is a news article about a current event. Most likely, you're just going to read it once and you won't ever look at it again. A book might be more repeatable. Some, I've read some books more than once. My favorite book of all time which is On Photography by Susan Sontag, I've read that book maybe five times or ten times. I just love it so much. Every time I read it, I get something more out of it. And then some things, like a pieces of music, your favorite CD or a track of iTunes, I can find that might be the medium that is the most repeatable. Movies kind of fall somewhere in between, like some people like watching movies over and over again. But because of the length of them and because they're not really designed to be repeated, maybe they're not always so repeatable. <laughs> so my question to you is, all my wonderful new subscribers and people I've had these wonderful insightful discussions with, like um, Waggy Flush and everyone else out there, really appreciate all your discussions. So my question for you guys is, why don't we have a little discussion about this idea of repeatability and whether it affects sort of the, our perception of media? What's your favorite song that you can't get tired of listening to? Or what's your favorite album that you've listened to a thousand times, five thousand times? Or even do you find some books that you like reading that you don't mind listening to them over, reading them over and over again? I think re repeatability or the ability to repeat something is one of the gifts of the digital world. Because before we had recording technologies, music performances were essentially, well, unless they were classical music, an improvised music performance could only be played once in the exact same way. And people tried to achieve repeatability through classical music by writing down every single note, every single inflection that the person played. But with the modern technologies, even a totally random improvised error or mistake can turn into something people want to listen to over and over again, such as improvised jazz. Okay, so I've rambled on a little while today, but I hope this brings you some inter interesting thoughts and I'd love to hear what you think of this concept of repeatability and how it affects your life and how you, you consume and experience media. Also, if you are creating media, maybe keep in mind if you're trying to design the media, like design a song that would sound good on a loop, for example. So if video game manufacturers have to do this. Some of the music for these video games can be repeated endlessly for hours and hours and people don't get tired of it. It's, it's genius. If you can create something that people don't mind listening to for hours and hours, I think that's a really amazing thing. And it's a really big talent to be able to do that. 
Okay, so that's the next uh, post from jeffmobile.com. Thank you so much for coming by my channel. Please, if you like what I'm talking about, I'm going to be posting more of these kind of things in the future. So please comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. And I also have some other channels you can check out, such as my music, Jeff Peters Trio, gpeters.com, and jeffmobile.com. So please uh, check me out on Twitter. I love to say hi to you sometimes. So thanks a lot for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Like the upbeat version of the evil castle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay.